I'm so delighted to welcome you to watch a video today that includes stories and strategies about how to have a more inclusive workplace. One of the things that feels most important about the trans and gender diverse community is we cannot walk into a room without people already making assumptions about who we are. So I think it's important to acknowledge that there's now five generations uh, working together you know, within the workplace, and that can be challenging. Everyone is biased. Everyone is biased. And it's really about what you do with the perceptions and stereotypes you have of folks. So what I want to focus on and particularly share with my story is what it was like for me when I first discovered I was different. I lived um, with uncontrolled uh, anxiety and depression most of my life. When it came to um, having a group of us indigenous people, mainly Navajo, who were conversing in Navajo at work, and and someone coming in and just observing us talking and speaking Navajo and laughing and whatever. And they came in and just assumed that we were talking about them. Years ago at an institution, uh, we had a staff where sometimes parents would say, I want to talk to the person in charge. And they would come to the person in charge, but I had a grad student. And so this person was white, I identify as black, and they would always approach my white grad, assuming that this was the person in charge. And so that for me, I would ask myself, why would they make that assumption and automatically go to the person who was white and assume they were in charge? Um, and then it also put a strain on our relationship because I started to think about how can I separate myself? How can I prove that I'm the leader? How can I, and it's really informed a lot of the decisions I've made to get certificates, degrees, lots of things to prove that I've earned my position. And it's also really taxing and exhausting, right? To continuously think about what stereotypes folks may have of you going to walk away with an actionable roadmap so you feel the confidence and the competence to have these kinds of conversations and develop your relationships even further. You spend, you know, upwards of 10 to 12 hours even in a place with other people. And how do you make that work? I really encourage you all in your different workplaces to not wait for there to be an issue or for there to be a problem. There's a real opportunity for you to make a difference and make your workplace even more welcoming and more inclusive.